Yo, what is going on guys? Whoa! This art! Jan, when did you do this? So I guess this is like the part of the version 7 update. I really like it. I can dig that. Alright, so... We're back with Pokemon Rejuvenation. This brings me- this really brings me back. I mean, Pokemon LPs is what started this channel. Well, Pokemon Reborn, specifically. I don't know how many of y'all know that, just because it's been so long since um, that game was updated and since I've played it. And I actually started a, a playthrough of this game like a year ago, and I, I don't know, I just kind of lost interest, I didn't have the time. I didn't think I would like it as much as Reborn, so I eventually just dropped it after like three parts. But then I actually played it on my own, on version 6, and I really liked it. It was good. Um, so now that version 7's out, I figured I'm on a new computer. That's why we've been able to play other games uh, in very high quality. I don't have my save file anyway, which is all the way finished to version 6. And I figured it's been long enough, and I don't remember every little detail about this game. Like I've, for I've forgotten most of it, honestly. And I can just start a new game, right here. And hopefully keep up with it this time. Oh, what? What is this? The story of Zorua. I don't remember this. Is, was this added in version 7? Okay. Wait, you're gonna tell me a Pangora is evenly matched to a Zora? Th that's some bullshit, Jen. <laughs> you can't pull that shit on me. <laughs> Okay. What? Zero to a hundred real quick. Why, why is it why is Zoro such a dick? God damn. Well, maybe he's lonely because he's an asshole. <laughs> oh, that's the end? How, how old is this kid to be telling her these kinds of stories? Well, I guess it has a... Like, I guess the morale of the story is don't be a dick. That's always good to teach the kids early. Okay, so I remember this part of the intro, more or less. Oh, okay, so I don't go out here. Okay, really sorry about that cut. Camtasia crashed. It would crash. <laughs> it would fucking crash in the very first episode, but okay. We're still in here. We're still in the prologue, so it's no problem. Uh, okay, how do I... Is Z, A? Like, no, okay. X is... That's the bag, okay. There we go. Actually, maybe I don't remember this intro. It, it's different, but I remember this character, at least. Yeah, we're not, we're not actually- that, that's not us, basically. This is just like the prologue. So I've been thinking, like, what starter should, should I choose? Oh, what? What is this? The only thing with this game I remember is that you can't choose any of the Kalo starters. What? Oh yeah, just in advance, be prepared for this game to be kind of dark and edgy at sometimes. What? Oh, that's someone else.
This is a lot longer than. Oh, aren't I supposed to be on a boat? What is this? <laughs> Can I run? Oh, I can't even open up my menu anymore. Hello? Oh, okay, so I, I'm... I know this part sort of happens, but isn't it Marionette that ends up in that circle? Or am I mistaken? Isn't she a gym leader? Yeah. What? Hold up, what? what? What happened? Why am I here now? Ah, this is the intro! This is- okay, this is the intro from version 6 and before. So was that so just some sort of hallucination or dream? That she had? This kind of reminds me of the Pokemon Insurgents intro as well, like... It seems to be some kind of cold, and the ritual... <laughs> they sacrifice people... Yeah, okay, so this is the, um... So this is the original intro, which, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them prolonging the intro. I'm sure that story is gonna have some sort of relevance in the story. I mean, the story about uh, Zoro and Pangora, I'm sure that's gonna have some relevance. Otherwise, I didn't see a reason to prolong the intro even further. Okay, so for this playthrough, you know you know I like to go hard. If, when I played Zelda, how would I play it? I played it with three hearts, no shield, and um, no, no sword skills. So you already know we're doing intense mode, right? <laughs> Especially because I've already played through most of this game. Alright. Oh god, the first gym leader is actually kind of rough. So I may, I may actually want to uh, actually pick Pokemon in the beginning that will be efficient and not just good later on. And adhere to like move pools and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be fun. And you can't just, this is not a game, I mean, if, you, if you've played Reborn, you know this already, but because this is a spiritual successor, but you can't just grind your way to victory. The game has level caps. I actually really, really like that. Forces you to actually, you know, use your noggin to, to go through the gym leaders, which are the hardest, uh, some of the hardest trainers, because from the start, they have six Pokemon. They don't, they don't fucking hold back. And yeah, we're a dude. Uh, yeah, I might as well pick the right design, since that looks more like me. We already know what our name is. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, is my cap? Yeah, my cap's lock was on. Should already know our name. Lord. Yeah, and then we get the boat sequence. We're not going to get too much done this time, uh, I think we're just going to get the starter, battle a few trainers, that's about it. Because I want to keep these episodes definitely shorter than the Dark Souls episodes that I've been uploading. Um, unless you guys say otherwise. If you want longer episodes, I'll be happy to, provi to provide that. Longer episodes in which I get more done. i have to verify this. <laughs> Fucking jam with his... Uh, breaking the third, the fourth wall. So I think between this and Dark Souls 2, this will be my main uploads for at least for a few weeks. A few showdown lives here and there, and that's about it. Because I actually want to finish these playthroughs for a change. 
I have a pretty bad record of not finishing stuff by now. I want to actually, I'll definitely finish this game and Dark Souls as well. We're already so far into it. Even the episodes that you haven't seen yet that are just, um, that are scheduled. Okay. Oh god, I'll uh, just... Now that I'm seeing the the mom character in this game reminds me of one portion of the game that's just ugh. Mm. I mean design wise it's actually kind of brilliant because it makes you feel very vulnerable but yeah we'll cross that bridge when we get there okay I didn't actually pay attention at all where was I, where was I supposed to go up here yeah all right looks like it. All right, so they, um, so Jan definitely. Oh, whoops! Sorry about that. So this is also uh, new stuff, I think. I think I actually don't know. Am I supposed to go all the way up? Okay. Seems this is, this is the right way. Yes. Okay, so this is just explaining the rules, how there's a gym leader for every type. Uh, oh, there's an Elite Eight in this game, which not even Reborn has. Yeah, level caps. So I'll just fucking skip through this. Because there's another lengthy and pretty important cutscene coming up. Okay, wait, do I go this way? This should lead outside, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, but that's not... It's not where we're supposed to go. Okay, so just making sure. X is menu, and that's A. Okay, so X is both the B button, or the... Yeah, X on my keyboard is both B, and it opens up the menu. Wait, so how am I gonna run? Do I just have to toggle that from... I imagine I can already... That's one thing I haven't been doing is just, um, all right, tech speed max and, huh? Is it like the, well, I guess I'll save, might as well. Is R to run? S? Usually in these types of like fan games, they give you running from the beginning. There's really no reason not to. Because otherwise this game's gonna be really running very slow and nobody wants that. I guess I'll, I might as well just wait till after this cutscene, then I'll figure out how to run. Because I'm pretty sure I'm only, I'm only walking right now. What? So I talked to that... To the captain and do I just go to go into one of the rooms I'm a bit confused was I supposed to was I supposed to stay there and talk to him again No, I'm pretty sure the cutscene triggers in here. Ooh. Hold up. Give me that potion. Okay, this was locked. I guess there's some benefits to just like wandering around for a bit. See if there's any more items. Okay, maybe I go back here? Okay, no, it's locked. Okay, this is all locked. Yeah, we saw this. Alright, I guess I'll just go back upstairs. Seems to be the only option we have. Oh! Okay, that's that's all also locked. I 
I'm like frantically hitting all my keys, trying to see which one is to run. Oh, cool. Alright. So we got some healing items already. I don't know if I was supposed to stay in there and talk to him again. Oh, what? Okay. So now he's just become part of the scenery. Very nice. Okay, maybe it's shift? Okay, no, that's for key items. Control, Alt. No, nothing here, and this will just lead me to the other side, so I don't... Okay, let me go ahead and pause until I make some progress. Okay, we're back. So we, we just had to go back up to that upper door that was locked before. At least there were some benefits of wandering around getting uh, free healing items, because money can also be kind of scarce in these kinds of games just by their nature of wanting to be a lot more difficult than the mainstream games, which I'm totally okay with. This is also new. Again, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel exactly about, about Jan adding so much, so much more intro. I mean, it's already been 13 minutes. Like, do we really need to hear all this? What? <laughs> oh, Jan. Oh, Jan. Wait, huh? Okay. All right. Now we're now we're seeing some progress. I remember this. The Deoxys looking motherfuckers. Ugh. Now remember what I said about dark and edgy? Yeah. Well, I don't think they're actually, they're not actually like Deoxys, but they're very similar. They're called something else, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't look too good. And oh, by the way, while I was paused, I tried pressing literally like every key. I cannot run yet. How are we not sinking right now? We literally got bombed. Blown away. No, I don't. I don't care what you think. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're supposed to get there by the... The door is at the very bottom he mentioned. Okay, so it's not these. Oh, what? I can actually walk over the water? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I guess you don't have to pay attention to detail that much in the intro maps, because, I mean, you're never going to see them again. Fucking hate Sylveon. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> Fat ass Pokemon. Yeah, there's the Deoxys things. Damn. You're about to kill everybody. Huh. 
her. Backstory. Blown away. Does the Oxus even learn Flash Cannon? Well, I mean, I know it's not the Oxus, but... Wait, is she gonna, is she gonna give me her Sylveon? I, okay, I can actually... <laughs> Sorry about what I said before. Yeah, give me the Sylveon. Oh, never mind. She said she told me to keep running. I would, but I can't. <laughs> so I guess that was the point of the whole piano sequence earlier. Wait, how would she even know? that there was a Deoxys right under her for the piano to conveniently fall. You know what? I'm not going to think about it. Besides, where would I even escape to? Are we even close to the pier? Uh, well, I guess we have to be just based on the next sequence. Yeah, the Talon Flame. Destroyed. And our game has officially begun. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to think about what I wanted to use as my starter, and I didn't even I didn't even decide on that. Are you a gym leader? Tesla. Ah, yes, Team Zen. The uh, the antagonists of this game. I don't even remember what their goal was. Like, I remember they like um, they summon like dimensional rifts, and we have to fight these fucking powerful mutated mega Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Maybe I'll have to look up how to run. Because I feel like you should be able to by now. Maybe in Gear and City they'll give me um They'll give me the running shoes or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, we got that um we got that earlier. Alright, not bad. So now we're, we're here in like the main... Okay, wait, hold up. So we can't actually, we can't actually go anywhere until we... Until we get a Pokemon. Oh yeah, she's from the intro. Isn't she also like a rival character of sorts? I don't know. Ah, so he got his Pokemon, all right. Yay, all right. Huh? Uh, <laughs> was it spoilers? Wait, damn it! Now I'm giving stuff away by saying stuff. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Seriously, even if you know nothing about the game's plot, that looks super fucking ominous and foreshadowy. To the left.
Wait, actually, see, I'm, not, I'm like rushing through dialogue and I'm not paying attention to what he's saying. Because I just want to get my Pokemon already. Starter Collection Room. Okay, this is also new. Another option we have is just abandoning the starter altogether eventually. To really give ourselves a challenge. A random Pokeball. Oh, right, I heard about this. Why don't we use that? <laughs> that sounds really fun, actually. And I know I'm gonna spend like a clean year trying to decide anyway, so... Alright, we're using the... Uh, I forget what it's called, it's like the... But we're gonna pick at random. I mean, who doesn't use this? It seems like so much fun. Let's do it, and we're gonna stick with whatever we get, unless it's Chikorita, because fuck that thing, it's so bad. Chespin. We got a Chespin. Okay. Uh, we're gonna die at the first gym, but I can live with that. Wait, that's a Kalos Mon. You can't actually, you can't actually get that normally, so I'm probably actually, like, lucky. Alright, Chespin's nickname. Mm, what are we gonna nickname this as? Uh, I'm really bad with nicknames. I usually just nickname them after other people. Uh, I was thinking also I could... You know what? Jambad really likes Chess Knot for some reason, so we'll name it after him. But from now, on, from now on, we'll name it after subscribers. So let's see if this thing is garbage or not. It probably is. Bro oh, yo, wait, Brave Nature, proud of its power? I can dig that. Hold up, look at these IVs. Like, it's not... I mean, the HP could be better, but that's great. Even the special attack is not bad. We got a good chest spin. And we got Vine Whip right away, because it's Kalos. Yo, we actually... I'm so glad we did that, because otherwise... Let me check. Because they're, like, roaming around in the open. I just remember that that's one of the things. You cannot get... Uh, you can't actually choose Callow starters. No, never mind. So you can- there's a Fennekin right here. Ah, I sort of wanted a Fennekin. I really like Fennekin, but whatever. I'll live with, uh, Chespin, and we'll get through the horrendous second form. We're about to win, because we're- we're nice and brave nature. Get this 2-hit KO. Wait, she has a Fennekin. It already has its stab move. Fucking Jan, you can't do this to me. Don't use your stab, please. Give me this experience. Alright, that's, that's not bad. We have nice defenses. Mmm. Yum. I think I'm gonna win. Yeah, I think I'll knock him out before he knocks me out, so... Maybe I could have used Vine Whip there in case I, I missed. Alright. Give me that level 6. Yum. Yum. And we got money for that. Okay, I should really I should really pay attention to the dialogue from, from now on. I'd like to give okay. Pokeballs. Oh, that's right. This is like the first thing you actually have to do is get Malia. Right, like Kylo Ren? <laughs> Hello? I have to battle him too? Wait, I'm not ready. Hopefully I get um, my HP back. But I should be able to win, no problem. I mean, he's a... Uh, I think a... It's a water type. If not, I actually do have the fresh water we got earlier. But nah, we're nice and leveled. It has Protean, like... <sighs> that did so much damage. Nice and stab. Get out of my face! 
Okay, so we're gonna struggle a bit in the first gym. We're probably gonna have to catch other Pokemon. That will definitely. But after that, I mean, I think we got a pretty solid draw. So route one. Okay, all right. Running shoes. Yes. <laughs> It's been like, it's like I've been in slow motion this entire time so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Wait, hello, where are my running shoes? Can I... Am I already running now? Ah, we're nice and speedy. So how do I toggle this? I mean, not that I want to, but just in case. I guess I can't. I don't know, I just want to know, just in case, the next time I boot this game up, just in case I'm not able to... Oh, he said the CyberNav, duh. Oh no, that's another thing he gave me. That's another thing he gave me, okay. We'll go ahead and save here. Oh, okay, so it's S to toggle that. Okay, that's good to know. So, I, I think I'm just going to end the video right there, just so far our starter chosen. You know what? Actually, no. I'm going to go battle some people, see how I do. I'll probably get blown back because they, they're packing, like, Zubats and Coughings and stuff like that. Which, I mean, that's actually fine because that makes it to where I can't rely on my starter. It's not like Torchic where you can just solo the game with that and, like, one other Pokemon. I'm really going to have to catch new friends, like really soon all right who wants some you're first all right it's time to catch this work for future episodes i'm actually gonna see if um i want to test out some fps some fps unlockers if you guys remember that's what i did for reborn as well just to make the battles run a lot faster. Oh, rollout. That's actually very useful. I can I can do I can roll that. Roll with that. But yeah, I'm gonna experiment with a few a couple different FPS controls that I know and see if the performance actually gets better. Because sometimes what will happen is the overworld also slows down. Um, probably not on this computer though, because it's a lot more powerful than my other one. But I'll just mess around with that. If I'm not happy with the results, I'll just play the game as normal. I mean, just, that's just so we get more done in a shorter amount of time. So is this where I'm supposed to go? Okay, no. I have to do something else first. So something like an Amoga would actually be okay for the early game. Like, you got if with these games, you gotta get used to just using Pokemon temporarily and then dropping them for better ones later because you're not going to get the strongest Pokemon right away. That's not how you play this game. I didn't heal, but okay, that's fine. That's going to hurt because that's normal stab. Oh my god. Oh, he was level 3, no wonder. Don't these have Gust? Why didn't he use it? Actually, I don't even... They come with Tackle now? I remember in the old games, at least, they only came with, um, they only came with Gust. Ah, so we level 9 now. Which actually is not that great, because our level cap until we beat the first gym is 20, I believe? Yeah, something like that. Level 20, that's how it was in Reborn. So... Alright, so next time we'll do whatever the fuck we need to do. Go to Route 1. Do all that. Hopefully catch some new Pokemon, because I'm going to need it. Definitely going to need it. And I will see you guys next time.